I want to deal with this idea that David had a desire, but he also had another desire. Sometimes where we mess up in our walk is we let one desire in our heart displace or override a more important desire in our heart. In this case, he legitimately wanted water. But as we read, he wanted something more than he wanted to quench his desires. And in that moment when they broke through and they got on the water and they, 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 they fended and they fought off the threat of the Philistines, which was a, a normal enemy to the children of Israel, they went into the enemy's camp, they fought, they risked their lives, they sacrificed, they came back and said, dun, 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 dun. May we present to you the water from outside of Bethlehem's gate. Surely he's going to be pleased. Man, I can't wait to see how he takes it down. Go, 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 go. The mighty men were going to be tested in a moment. I want to see if all of my mighty men and women of God will stand up right now. Because what do you do when you go through everything that a mighty person does to please what you heard the leader say that he wants only for him to get what you fought for him to get and he pour it out? We went to get this because you said you wanted it. Some of us get fought in our might because we had an end conclusion that didn't turn out the way we thought it would. And in that moment, we got tested in our posture. And in that moment, we got tested in our stance. In that moment, we got tested in our assignment. Because when it didn't reap what we thought it would reap from all that we did, we didn't know what to do. But I thought he said he wanted the water. Why would he tell us? Why would he even release that in the atmosphere? If that's not what he really wanted. Is anybody walking with the Lord through this word? Why would he even let that utter? Surely he knows by now how we're going to respond if he actually says that. We're going to go and try to do that. So why did he even let that come out? We went and did it. And what is he doing with all of our efforts? And then you find out that maybe your life isn't as poured out as you thought it was. But we fought for you, David. We risked our lives and you're taking the sum of everything that we went through and you're wasting it right in our face like it's nothing. And It's difficult to keep track of David because David was after God's heart more than he was after his own desires. There is a place in the spirit, people of God, where the rules you cannot allow you can't put them together yourself because you'll think that you're doing what's supposed to be done in that moment and you'll miss God our goal is not to suit the likings of one another our ultimate goal is to honor God in our engagements with one another